Hello and welcome to the readings for the sixth Sunday of Easter, which is May 6, 2018. Before we begin, I did just want to give a heads up that if uh, my power does go out, there has been a few power flickers here and there. So it might be dark for a second, but then it should happen to kick back on. I just figured I'd give that heads up because I was... That's just a good thing to give a heads up on. Um, the other thing I should give a heads up on, unfortunately I'm not really going to be able to go over the homily this week. My son, as much as I love him, was very fussy and pretty much as soon as the homily started essentially he threw a fit for the rest of mass so i was not able to actually be in mass for the next 45 minutes as he did not stop crying i don't hold it against him of course he's a good son and i love him but why don't we actually get to the readings as that is what we are here for today so the readings for the sixth sunday of easter happens to start with acts chapter chapter 10, verse 25 through 26, 34 through 35, 44 through 48. And this is the first reading. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him, and falling at his feet, paid him homage. Peter, however, raised him up, saying, Get up, I myself am also a human being. Then Peter proceeded to speak and said, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm for today was Psalm 98, verse 1, 2 through 3, and 3 through 4. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The second reading for today is from 1 John chapter 4, verse 7 through 10. Beloved, let us love one another, because love, of, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only Son into the world, so that we might have life through him. And this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us, and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord. And my Father will love him, and we will come to him. The Gospel for today was John chapter 15, verse 9 through 17. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you, and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And those were the readings for the sixth Sunday of Easter. Thank you very much for joining me. I do apologize, as I said, that I did not have the homily. I am working on, I know that I've said this a few times, but I am working on reading it ahead, the readings for Sunday ahead of time. I just need to actually get a little bit better at that would be the best way to say that, and I apologize for that, because I do want to, honestly, by my examining the readings more and more, I do think that it happens to draw me closer to God, and I happen to hope that through the Holy Spirit, leading me, that it can draw you closer to God as well. So I do happen to hope for that a lot, honestly. I'm not always great at it, but I do happen to hope that the Holy Spirit does happen to help people 
either come closer to God or come to God in general. So, thank you very much for watching. You make sure that you all happen to have a wonderful week, and God bless.